Hey, everybody. Thanks for hanging out with us. Welcome back in. We're Sports Take, Biggest Sports YouTube Network. Barrett, Derek, I am Rob, hanging out with you guys. Talking about the Eagles, what adjustments could be made, may be made, uh, what they do, what the problems are, what is happening with this team, how much of this is attributable just simply to the fact that the quarterback has not been playing the last couple of weeks. Uh, because really, it, if you look at it, the issues do date back to even the Bears game. And they more survived than really went out and won that game. I know you'll take it any way you can get it in the NFL, and it's a road game, and, and nothing's easy, mind you. But we know 25 to 20, that game was a bit of a struggle. Uh, it was a game that you look back at it and you say, maybe that was the precursor to some of the things that are happening now. Um, but, you know, again, you could lay a lot of this on the fact that Hurts and Mylotta, um, excuse me, Hurts and Lane Johnson. And, you know, a lot of the key components of this defense aren't playing right now. So there, there's there's many different ways to view this, guys, uh, you know, for sure. But they will get the Giants this week. And a Giants team that's 9-6-1 and one, that locked, locked up a playoff spot last week against the Colts. Um, the question is, and Brian Dable wouldn't commit to anything. He said he'll, he'll revisit this with his coaches on Friday. He said that today. <laughs> but will he play the starters? Um, if you look at the numbers – there isn't really anything that's going to blow you away here uh, other than they run the ball very well, but they're 16th in points allowed. They're 28th against the run. They're 15th against the pass defensively, offensively, 17th in scoring fourth, running the ball 26th passing the ball. Yeah. So you're saying, eh, all right, well, I mean, look, there's a tough element to this team, Brian Dable and the, and the new coaching staff and the, and the new front office have, have brought a different energy to this group. And what they've done is they've gotten Saquon Barkley back to being healthy and they're feeding him, you know, 1300 yards rushing, 10 rushing touchdowns, caught 57 passes for 338 yards. Daniel Jones kind of resurrected, not telling you he's great, but you know, 3,200 yards passing, 15 touchdowns, five picks, completing 67% of his passes, 92 passer rating also has run for 708 yards. So this guy's almost got 4,000 total yards, and he scored seven times. His passer rating's 13th. His QBR is 9th. His completion percentage is 8th. Passing yards are 15th, you know, for a guy that a lot of people had written off. You know, this is a, this is a case where bringing in the right coach and the right people have raised the game of people who were already there. He got them. Those are huge numbers, man. You know, the, <laughs> people act like that's he's just a just a you know just a, a just a guy. Those are better than just a guy numbers, right? You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, I know. I, I Barrett, he has not played like just a guy this year, right? <laughs> he's those are some really good numbers, you know, which dictates why their record is what there is, and they're in the playoffs. I don't know how he resurrected that guy's career like that. I don't know what he's doing, but he's been and he's had nothing to throw to. Yeah. Nothing yeah. to throw. Mm. I, I, you want you want to hear the receivers? I was looking at this today. Right. All right. So the Giants receivers. Now, again, you have Saquon who will catch a lot of balls out of the backfield. We know he's dangerous. But, you know, your leading pass catcher for the Giants is, is Darius Slayton at 724 yards. Richie James at 569. Isaiah Hodgins, who hasn't even been there the whole year, at 351. Mm -hmm. Then it's Saquon. You need to get a rookie tight end, Bellinger, at 268 receiving yards. You know, these are not exactly Justin Jefferson and – you know, Tyreek Hill running around that he's got. Well, I, 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 you could say the same thing about last week. You know, we got, you know, Jawan Johnson. True. And, and Rashid <laughs> Rahid tore us, tore us out the frame. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they, they beat us up, man. So, you know, it don't matter who they throw into these days. I'm just hoping that, uh, you know, we get at least – a slot corner that can go out there and play, man, and not just be out there. Mm -hmm. The thing that's most impressive about what Dayball has done here with, with Daniel Jones is protect him from himself. Daniel Jones has only thrown 15 touchdown passes in six, 16 games, but he's also thrown his least amount of interceptions in his career of five. Now he's completing 67% of his passes. You know why? Because Dable shortened up their passing game. If you look at their passing game, a lot of it is predicated on these quick slant passes. And Daniel Jones, say what you want to say about him, that dude can throw lasers in that pass. When it comes, I'm watching him throw darts through small windows on that, that quick slant intermediate game. Mm -hmm. They're not taking a lot of deep shots, but he's a very effective 
when it comes to receivers taking a couple steps and, and going in. Well, we talk about A.J. Brown doing for this offense on the slant game right? in bigger volumes. They're doing it in shorter volumes, but having a tremendous amount of success to it. Right. So basically, Dabo came in and said, you know what? I'm not going to have you standing back here trying to throw deep. I'm not going to have you standing back here patting the ball. We finally got a healthy Pro Bowl running back. We don't need the best receivers out there. We got guys quick enough to run what I need to run. Mm -hmm. And lo and behold, it has led to them winning nine games. Basically, he's kind of rebuilt Daniel Jones. Oh, you know, yeah, he has. He has. A, and, and look, he's not he elite. Knows, this isn't ideally what he wants to do. We we saw that last year with uh, Josh Allen, what he wants to do. Love to be doing. But he's, that's what a good coach does. Do whatever it takes. But the Eagles did last year. You got to run the ball, run it. No, we didn't see them do last week. No, and he brings in a guy like Wink Martindale. I need you to take this same group of guys, you know, minus a few guys we drafted, and you know, and I need you to make it more efficient. And what did they do? I think uh, up until a week ago, they were blitzing a forty-two percent of snaps. <laughs> That's unheard of in the National Football League. Yeah, blitzing a forty-two percent. Can you imagine if we had a coach that would blitz forty-two percent of the time? with the personnel that we have instead of trying to just get home all the time with a four man front. Could you imagine what the sack total might be then? Only thing with comes with that, man. Same thing can make you laugh, make you cry. Cause once you get past that first initial wave and you get in behind those blitzes, there's nobody else back there to stop anybody from scoring. I That's agree. You, I, I agree when you have the giants corners, but when you have two bro, pro bowl corners, right? Like Slay and Bradbury. Right. You can blitz right. all day. Right. If they're supposed to be these so-called lockdown type corners, hey, let them earn their money. Put them on the island. Let's see it do. Let's see them do it. Yeah. I want to see can't. them second coming to Stephon Gilmore. They must know that they can't. Well, no, it's, it's that slot corner position, man. He was very comfortable with, with calling blitz. I think he blitzed like this last 18. game. No, his last game, he, he blitzed almost 30% of the time. Was it was like, like 27. It was like 27% of the time. Right around there. Um, you just that slot corner, man, because everybody everybody's taking advantage of motioning right. and putting somebody over him. They're putting right. their best players over Josiah Scott. Right. I don't know. I mean, they they're doing a fantastic job of, of, of making sure they got Josiah Scott under wraps. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So he's yeah. he's he's he helped himself last week. He got a pick, but for the most part, yeah, it's been a rough go. Yeah. Uh, so, I said Kayvon Wallace is playing a little better, though. Yeah, he actually he has under the radar a little bit. Yeah, yep. you know he's he's done a nice job for him. But, but but look, guys, let's be real. If they don't get a decent form of lane, uh, they <laughs> he don't said get, a decent form of. Lane. <laughs> I'm not even saying I don't even need a hundred percent lane. Give me like right. seventy five. <laughs> if they don't get seventy five percent of lane, if CJ GJ doesn't come back and it, you know looking like he did earlier in the year, and you know. What are, what are the obvious other injuries I'm missing here? Like, it's going to be tough. It's going it to be a tough go, is. man. They need by to get the, these guys back. By the way, guys, we're going to have uh, our buddy Jordan Renan on, on tomorrow or Friday Good. to talk about the mindset of what, what's going on with the Giants. What are they going to do? What does he think they're going to do? Would he play the starter Sunday? So he just he just texted me back and said, uh, as soon as he checks their practice schedule for tomorrow and Friday, he'll let us know. Yeah, uh, Jordan's great. Better. We've had him on yeah. a bunch of times. So he, yeah. he does he does an excellent job. Covers the Giants for ESPN.com. So, yeah, I, I, I will be curious to get a, a guy who's an insider like that. I'll be very curious um, who it'll be. Hey, just to be past this long, we'll get into all this in a minute. So two things. Justin Fields is not playing for the Bears uh, this week. You know, they're, they're, He's got his hips bothering him a little bit. They're shutting him down. And Ron Rivera says that Sam Howell will be the starter this Sunday against what? the Bears. <laughs> what? Not even Taylor Heineke. What? Sam Howell. And the reports are that Wentz won't even be active. Like, what is happening in Washington? You, that a you, train wreck? That's a train wreck, man. Oh, my God. You turned on a guy who went 5-3-1 and one as a starter for you and put you in playoff contention. You've totally turned on him now? <sighs> What could he have possibly done to make you turn on him that bad? Even before Sunday, we were talking about it last Friday. He, here's all I know. Teams want to get away from this guy in the worst way. I'm talking about Wentz. They want to get away from this guy in the worst way. We've seen it three different organizations now. There's no he, way he's a, he's, a, he's a commander next year. No, he won't be a commander. I don't know if he'll be in the NFL. I think he's going to go ahead. If I was him and 
I, if that was him, I would be rich. Yeah, like yeah, that rich. bread. Yeah, he, he's got. He he's doesn't got need to work. Yeah, yeah, he, he, yeah. He, he'll go back to his cattle farms out in Idaho, his, uh, Idaho duck, or wherever it is. Duck hunting farm in uh, yeah. North Dakota. Yeah, he um he sells beef, prime time beef, man. So does he? Yeah, he's got you know he's got that going for him. He he, he doesn't care about us talking about him. He don't even care. No, I don't. Yeah, I don't think he cares. Like, I don't think he's one of these guys who's losing sleep over what someone's saying. No, I no. He but believes- he also there's a lack of connectivity to teammates, and he's clearly lost it from a from a player standpoint. Absolutely, absolutely. You know? The thing is, if he could put his pride aside, Carson Wentz, I guarantee you, will be somebody's backup next year. Now, if he can, when you look at the backups in the NFL today, as bad as he is. He's still better than a whole bunch of dudes collecting paychecks on a number of teams across the NFL. And if he can put his pride aside and come to the realization that your days are done as a frontline starter on a regular basis, somebody will pick him up. Yeah. I guarantee you somebody will pick him up. Yeah, I, I don't – I don't. here's the thing, Derek, and I, I agree with you that he's better than most backups out there. I don't know if he's the clipboard type. No, nope. he may just that's look at the dollar signs. I that's why yeah. I said if yeah. he can put his pride aside. I, I agree. I, I think he may just look at the dollar signs and keep keep cranking it out. Maybe may, may, maybe he does that. But uh I don't man, know. Your boy, Bear, your boy T for Tuna, man. Come on, man. Come he on, back. Man. Come on, dude. My dog yeah, is man. back. You see what T for Tuna said about Wentz? Oh, come on, man. Yeah. But seriously though, once once Stop. he got Stop. once he got Stop. married. Stop. Once he got married, it went downhill after that. Don't, think, I don't, go, there. don't go there. And I'm I'm just I'm just saying in my line. So Ever you think, since you said it's like Samson getting his hair cut, <laughs> as Mickey said to Rocky, women weaken legs. <laughs> is that the theory? Yes, it is. Okay, yes, it is, man. From oh, that point God. on, man, he's been good for nothing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> oh, my goodness, yeah, it's been a precipitous oh, downfall. Duck, uh, duck, don't, 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 don't do that. Don't encourage him, man. Don't encourage him. Yeah, yeah, no, him. no. <laughs> oh, my God. God. Jake, Jake wants, uh, wants Carson back as the backup here. Yeah. No. And don't hold your breath, that, Jake. No, that ain't Don't happen. hold your breath. That is not going to happen. No, Derek dude. Barrett or I would be the backup before they would bring yeah, in Carson. Yeah, that ain't happening, dude. That much no. I can promise you. That would be happening. I yeah. literally might go fight him if he was, bro. Well, I'll tell you what, what may end up happening is. I don't think Minshew's getting – I know it's only one game or whatever, but I don't think anybody's going to be really knocking the door down hard for for Gardner Minshew. Nope. He very well could be back as the backup, which, which is fine if that's the case. No, I mean, I, I wouldn't turn him away. No, I'd be fine with that. I mean, what, what, would I rather have him or Carson? I'd, I still want Minshew. Yeah. I wouldn't want Carson. You're going to need somebody – look, let's face it. The, the, Jalen Style – lends himself to getting hit a little bit more than other quarterbacks. Now he's not reckless or anything like that. I'm just saying he carries the ball and has the ball in his hands more than a lot of quarterbacks. So you're going to need a good backup here with this team. You really, you are, you're going to need some, every team does, but especially you're going to need it in this circumstance. You absolutely have to have that. I mean, it's just, just the way the athletes are on the Mm -hmm. defensive side of the ball. These guys are bigger, faster, and stronger. It's harder, harder to get away from them. It's hard to stay healthy in this league because Man, when I was in the league, there was nothing like a, a, a Davis out there. Right. You know what I'm saying? That could move the way Davis moves and as big as he is and strong. There was nothing like that. Yeah. I mean, they were few and far between. So, uh, you know, it's, it's tough for me to say, all right, well, do we bring in a quarterback with the same skill set as Hurts? Do we have a – do we have in the league a quarterback with the same intangibles that Hurts had? I will say I Baltimore. A, a Tyrod Taylor. Baltimore Huntley. found a guy, Huntley, sure that models did. Lamar. Sure did. They models Lamar, but they didn't model uh, with, with, with Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts can throw the ball just as good as he can, he can run Yeah, I, but that's the thing, Barrett. Good luck replicating somebody who can do that. I don't you know, know a, anybody that can. only a couple guys in the world, maybe, or if any. Right, right. So who, do you, who can you bring in along the line of what Carson – um, not McCarthy, but uh, what what Jalen Hurst can do. Uh, maybe, maybe you're probably one in the draft. I right, yeah, 
Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's, I don't know. Or do you want, would you prefer the veteran guy? I, that's a great question. So uh, Glenn is asking about the status of Robert Quinn. Uh, mm. He has been, uh, his practice window has been activated. Uh, Glenn, in case you were, you were, I know you were asking. So he, he's, he can start practicing with the team. So can CJ Gardner Johnson. So that's a good sign. Those two guys are now practicing. Uh, update Sippos was in the locker room with a boot still on. <laughs> Who? Hey, I'll tell you what. Brett Kern wasn't lighting the world on fire on wait, Sunday either. Wait, who? His last one was the worst yeah. I've seen. So as, what was it like a twenty-six yard putt? Yeah, uh, man. Yes. So uh, maybe I want Sippos back at this point. Okay, <laughs> let me with, just be, with, be with careful what you ask for. Exactly right. Yeah, with the boot on, you want him back? I, want, I think I'd rather that. That it looked like Kern was cooking, kicking with a boot on 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 Sunday. He'll have like the Tom Dempsey boot on. Yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> have his foot gone, dog. Yeah, I'm telling you. Oh yeah, yeah. Can someone just just drive a punt for once? I, I, isn't it something how isn't it something how spoiled we've been up until the Chicago game with the way this team was just rolling through people? Yeah, it's true. And now we're sitting here questioning, speculating, worried about what is this team right now? It's but that's the nature of football. That's that that's yep. exactly every team goes through this. You know, uh, you know, teams that were down all of a sudden they're rising up. You know, everybody's talking about, oh, you don't want to see this Green Bay team now. You know, Seattle's still out there. You know, you got a backup, a habitual backup quarterback completing 70% of his passes in Seattle. You know, it's, it's just amazing how teams ride the, the ebbs and flows of that proverbial roller coaster, man. It's, yeah. I, I tell you, you know. No, the Eagles have been dodging bullets. I mean, you know, you see the way, like you said, Derek, so many other teams are banged up. The fact that it got to that point, like yeah, the fact that they were yeah. able to avoid it up until that point was Absolutely. a miracle. The Absolutely. problem is, like anything else, it's timing. Yeah. And it's hitting at the wrong time right now. You know, we, it's coming waves. Now, today there was some, look, good news today for people who are just tuning in. So, um, mentioned Garter Johnson and, and Quinn can start practicing. Uh, Josh Sweat is in the building and and pestering Sirianni about playing. That's a good sign. Okay. Uh, these are positive notes here. And we haven't heard anything on Lane. We haven't heard anything, you know, further on, on, on any, any of the other guys who were banged up. But it seems like you're getting a little bit closer here with some of these guys. What I really wouldn't hold a ton of hope out for is Avante Maddox. I just – I don't have a good sense about that one. I mean, they – He's going to be back anytime. You said soon. serious toe injury. Yeah, I don't. Ish. What the hell is a serious toe injury? I, I don't know, man. That, hey, Cap, I like, have a that's serious like, toe injury so I can't fish. Yeah, that's like, <laughs> that's like Deion Sanders stuff right there, man. See, right, you're talking right, about right. serious toe. I'm talking, you're talking about ligaments possibly shredded, bone possibly broken, tendons <laughs> separated from the bone kind of stuff. You know, it, it's, it's not just a turf toe, you know. If it was just a turf toe, you could say, man, he could be back in a couple of weeks. Right. Sirianni said, we hope to have him back this year. Yeah. Yeah. That's well, just today. Me, this is way Richie, more serious. Richie, you're right, what? man. Turf toe is bad. Yeah, it's turf no toe joke. Hurts. And, yeah. and you have to, yeah. I had to put a plate inside my shoe just to keep me from – I had to play with turf toe, man. It's, it's, oh. it's the worst thing yeah. ever, man. The yeah, it's very ever. serious. Very yeah. serious. It sounds like nothing, but it is something. You know, it's a big mm. deal. All right, so uh, we'll step aside. And uh, oh, by the way, uh, so um, Zach Taylor, who's the coach for the Bengals, uh, meeting with the media and basically said, like, look, we're, we're going to concentrate on this week. We, we can't control what the league ends up deciding, you know, to do with the Bills game. Uh, that's in their hands. It's not in ours. So we're just we, we have to we're, we're praying for tomorrow and we're trying to best we can go about our business here to play a game this week. So kind of where things are uh again we get anything of tomorrow we'll pass it along but there's there hasn't been any kind of updates uh since we came on the air well, that and, uh, tells uh, me that, yeah that yeah. tells me cincinnati's preparing to play a game on sunday oh yeah, yeah right there see yeah. yeah but what is the status of buffalo that's that's a whole nother beast right there and, and i think they're going to have to focus on playing a game sunday yeah one o'clock they play the wing yeah. at home yeah you know um and i <laughs> I, you can't lay blame on anybody in, a, in a, an uncharted situation like this, but you have a business to move forward. If, you know, if it was IBM, you know, Wall Street, whatever the case may be, if something devastating like that happened, the product will still have to continue to produce. And 
you know, it may sound insensitive, but th- I'm not surprised that the, 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 they're going to have to play a game on Sunday. With all of this still swirling in their minds, they still have to go out there and and conduct their business. You got to play, man. I mean, yeah. yes, it's their brother. Yes, you know, but, I mean, I, I you know, it's just the nature of how this whole thing works, bro. You you, you got to get back. And like I said, no, we're by no means insensitive. Um, we're definitely sensitive to what's going on. We definitely understand what's going on. We've seen it happen before, but, you know, it's, it's, it's one of those things where people got to – People got to go up. They got to, you know, strap it up and, and and get back into the, you know, swing of things, man. It's going to be tough for them. It's going to be very, very, very tough for them. Mm-hmm. Very tough for them. But, you know, just like you said, the show must go on. Yeah. The show mm-hmm. must it's go a, on. It's a harsh reality, man. Yeah. And, yeah. Know, it's, uh, you know, here's what you re- – uh, man, the greatest thing ever would just be that you get news that he's, he's doing much better and those kind of things, and it would just ease – everybody's mind, frankly, everybody, but especially those two teams who uh, who have to be just mm-hmm. going through a really tough time right now, getting ready for those games. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, so we'll pass that along if we get any news uh, regarding DeMar. Uh, but when we come back, we'll uh, we'll do a little Sixers and a couple other other odds and ends. And our NFL talk, uh, we'll do we'll touch on the, the commander situation, Jim Harbaugh, where he may end up if he goes to the NFL. Vikings are a little bit banged up at the wrong time, too, along their offensive line. Some clinching scenarios in both the NFC and the AFC. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, and we're going to do our power rankings, which is really tough for the AFC. Really, really tough. So we'll do all of that when we come back. Don't go anywhere. That's Barrett. That's Derek. I'm Rob. We're Sports Take, Jacob Sports YouTube Network. Right now we're going to talk about Flint Tree Services. Flint Tree Services is an experienced, licensed, and insured Pennsylvania tree services company that will trim or remove any unwanted trees off of your property. They offer cost-effective solutions to any tree problem that you may face. So if you have any problems with trees in your yard or on your property, they are just a quick phone call away. They're experts at trimming all types of trees, and they serve southeastern Pennsylvania, South Jersey, and northern Delaware. Flynn Tree Services specializes in tree removal, stump grinding, as well as tree pruning. Now, keep in mind, we're in that time of year right now, with some heavy winds, some hurricane season, et cetera. It's a great time to have your trees evaluated before something bad happens. You go to their Facebook or Instagram page for more information or a sampling of their work. Give Flynn Tree Services a call at 610-850-2848, 610-850-2848, or online at flynntreeservices.com. That's flynntreeservices.com. Go for the beers. 